What is up, guys? Welcome. I guess plasma crashes just aren't dead. They just didn't happen in the last video. What can you do? <laughs> uh, so this is Sudachi. This is the continuation of Yuzu, or one of them. There's Torzu, there's Suyu, God knows what else there is. Uh, there's probably Snoo Snoo and other things. Seriously? Stop crashing. Thanks. Anyway, <clears throat> the new version released, and we're going to properties, permissions, uh, is executable, and we're just going to run it and execute. It works. Encryption keys are missing. Of course they are. They don't come with the emulator. And uh, tools, install encryption keys. So I'm going to go here, here. Uh, we're going to use our backup prod keys, done. We're going to go install our firmware. It's been a while. Home slice. We're going to install our new firmware. That's it. We're done. And now we have it all set up. So let's add our games. So switch ROMs. Well, that's the, that this is actually right here. And it should start to populate eventually. All right, so now that all of our games are in here, um, the one that I want to test the most is Echoes of Wisdom. So we're going to favor that. Then we're going to go to File. We're going to install Files to NAND because again, it's a janky system. Uh, basically, they were doing everything not according to how the switch actually does it so we're gonna go to updates updates and here and this is the one and there we go we're all updated and ready now controller wise we are using a ps4 controller kind of as you all know i've got this game sir this is for mobile but i use it as my desktop controller because it's absolutely amazing and because it's so easy to just run through and customize it. I don't have nails. You can just take the plate off and switch the buttons around. So this thing's super cool. All right, so I want my save file from Rayajinx because I don't want to have to lose everything. So I guess this is a lesson. Look how much faster Rayajinx just loads everything. Come on, people hate for only no reason whatsoever. Open save file. We're going to just copy this. There's those plasma bugs. And we're going to open up the save data location and we're going to paste this in. Uh, can we paste this in? You know what? I'm just going to hit control V. Clipboard is empty. Yay. Clipboard is empty. Why are you like this? All right. Anyway. Uh, open save data and we're just gonna again copy this this time we're gonna minimize this and it's right there we're gonna paste this in okay great let's close all these extra pointless windows we're gonna go to configure and of course we're gonna set up the controls because if i don't do this someone's gonna whine and complain they always do so i have to always set this up okay Oh, oh, this does not scale very well at all. All right, so now that that's done, um, we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna start it up and see how well it does. It's gonna build one shader, two shader, five shaders. Okay. That does confirm that that works pretty well. We're gonna hit stop and see if it stops. I know. I'm not doing what you think I should be doing, but you need to understand. I got to go grab the mods now because I want to be able to use the mods as well to unlock the FPS. Because if I'm going to see how truly well this does, I'm going to need to go and accomplish everything. Oh, okay. No, I do not want to go to downloads. Uh, give me a sec. I got to go find the mods. Um, uh, me, then I have to go into my downloads folder in here, copy that. And it crashed already. So that tells you everything you need to know. No, I'm kidding. Emulators do this from time to time. Okay. So right click open mod data directory and 
and paste one folder. So this is the Ultracam mod. I have the max FPS set up to 240. So let's once again start this up and hope for the best. And 60, good. I should get at least 120 FPS in the Garuda Town. Hopefully, if this is doing its thing correctly. I don't even know if it renders properly. Because it did not render um, Link's Awakening properly. Okay, 110. I'm gonna let the uh, the shaders compile. Let me do a bunch of stuff. All right, so. The funny part is I get worse performance on Yuzu than I do with Rayo Jinx. On Rayo Jinx, I can get about 120 plus FPS in this area, which is kind of nice. Let's turn this down to normal. Nope. All right. Let's go walk around here. Hello, kitty. Yeah, it's still great FPS. I'm not going to complain at all. And the game does look really good. Let's try to F11 this. And we're going to also select the display. So we're going to select the Yuzu window or the Sadachi window. And I'm going to put myself down here. I mean, it's very playable. Here. You need a blow dryer. Very interesting. So this is one of those heavy zones, uh, which is kind of cool. But... <laughs> Let's go to a different zone, okay? Let's go out into... Hmm... Yeah. Let's go right here. Let's teleport here and let's see how well this does. Do 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 do. Ooh. Okay. So, we're doing still about 110 FPS. And... At least it's consistent. Which is good. But I wanted to just essentially show you what's going on. And it's not doing that bad at all. I like the fact that they added hills and stuff in this game versus Link's Awakening where it was just nothing but flat surfaces. Definitely adds a lot more detail to life. Okay, wait. Ah. No, I want to get up on here, and then up on here. There we go. So, this was a quick video, uh, going through the setup and everything else. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a weird one to see happening, but it is what it is. And I just wanted to test out the initial performance in two slightly heavy areas, and I call this a heavy area because, well, there's a lot of people here, and towns have always been notably heavy. In Zelda games. So, why not have a little bit of fun, right? Let me summon a monster. Just to, like, finalize it. I believe I have a... Yes. You. Oh. Are you guys gonna react? Yes, you are. <laughs> Be afraid. Be afraid. <laughs> Suffer. Oh, and before we go, I wanted to show something off to you. I don't know if it works on this or not, but uh, check this out. Actually, it's better if we talk to somebody. Go that way. 
Hi. Okay. Ready? So this is a free cam. Uh, this is a part of Max Last Breath's mod list, and it's really, really cool. We need to get that chest here in a minute. And as you can see, when you talk to somebody, you can end up loading up the entire map. Oh, there's an enemy. Now, I was told that if I go directly this way, that I will eventually find a Lionel. Look at that spider. Oh, there's those two guards. Hello. Do you have any hair? You do. Cool. So this is the castle. There's Castle Town. What's up, lady? Oh, yeah. This area is still pretty damaged. Take a look up there. Very happy girl. Looks like she's staring at the dudes. Clearly, she's in love. We head this way. There's the forest. And let's enter in, shall we? Now, we're looking for Lionel's footprints. There they are. And... Where else are they? Hmm... It leads us to an open patch, which is right here. Or unless this is the entrance again. But yeah, they should lead us here. This is really cool. I like the fact that this cam, this mod, is a thing, because it really allows you to see the amount of depth and energy that they went and they put into this. Also, there's some areas up here. Long Lawn Ranch, look at that. And there's our horse. Hello, mister. Oh, don't you look adorable with a carrot in your hair. Huh? Who are you? Never seen you before. Oh, looks like there's a, another camp here full of bad guys. And... Yeah. It's clearly pretty easy how to get there, which is nice, and maybe we'll do that in the live stream sometime. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that, and again, you know the drill. Like button, subscribe, share, all that cool stuff. Bye, everybody.